Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Mosaic Basketball First Off the Line Edition. One spot gets you two teams, so that's a pretty good price point if you think of it that way. All card ship, and these are the exclusives that we're looking for. The pink squirrels to 11, the green squirrels to 10. Big thanks to these wonderful people here for making this happen. We sold this one out straight up. No fillers, straight no fillers. I appreciate that. All teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a one. Lucky seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one more, right? Once more, seventh and final time. Got Nancy down to Kevin. All right, six and a one, seven times for the teams. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time. We got the Golden State Warriors down to the Phoenix Suns. Remember, this is 2019, 2020. Nancy with the Warriors, Steve with the Lakers, Pistons, and Bucks. Nancy with the Mavs and the Trailblazers. Peter with the Celtics. Nancy with the T-Wolves and Wizards. Matt with the Nuggets. Kevin with the Clippers, Rockets, and Hawks. Nancy with the Nets. Uh, Matt with the Pacers. Nancy with the Memphis Grizzlies and the Jazz. Peter with the Kings. Nancy with OKC and the Hornets. Michael with the Sixers. Matt with the Knicks. Kevin with the Heat. Matt with the Magic. Michael with the Spurs. Kevin with the Cavs. Nancy with the Raptors and Bulls, Steve Birch with the New Orleans Pelicans, and Kevin with the Phoenix Suns. So let's sort this alphabetically by team. We're going to pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back. No deals done here in this one box break. But thanks, everyone, for making this happen. Appreciate it. Another one-box break is up. This is only the third box from the first off-the-line case that we opened. I'm pretty sure it's, the, it's only just the third box because we've got a lot more. we got a lot more available. So let's keep searching for guys like that. John Morant, some of the other rookies. And, uh, and especially those... All the first off the line parallels, exclusive just to this set and autograph. So a lot to look for, a lot to look out for in these, uh, in these first off the line boxes. Obviously get the right player, you know, and the right low numbered exclusive parallel that grades out nicely. You can turn a pretty, uh, a pretty tidy profit. Here, if that's what you're into, or add some nice stuff to your personal collection, or if you're on one of those epic quests to uh, build a rainbow of a certain player, you definitely want to fill in some of the, the squirrel parallels here. We got a little spurs at. At Bulls on in the background. I just saw a stat on the TV that Jahunta Murray uh, is the first player or the only player to have two nights in a row scoring 30 points, 10 assists, and one or fewer turnovers since turnovers were recorded in the late 70s. That's, that's pretty impressive. Pretty fundamentally sound teams, Spurs. All right, let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, Terry and all, all cards shipping this, right? I think, can't imagine not shipping all cards. Yeah, all cards shipping this. Kendrick Nunn, as a Lakers fan, would love to would love to see him clear up that weird knee injury that's kept him out the entire season. All right, Kendrick Nunn going at Kevin and the Miami Heat. I think 
Jordan Poole started off the season really well. Once Clay came back, that kind of ate into the Jordan Poole minutes. But now I think he's kind of heating back up again. He's settling into his new role with Clay Thompson out there. Uh, that's going to go to Nancy and the Warriors. So Logan said, You sold a Zion disco out of this. What'd you end up getting? Aha, uh -huh, this is nice. There's Tyler Hero, Pink Swirl. One out of 11 for Miami. He's playing really well. Uh, that's for Kevin. The Heat. And there's Joel Embiid, 11 out of 11. Makes 21. No, that does not make 21. Close. Nice one for the Sixers. Michael with Philadelphia. Rex, what's up? You have some fun trivia you just found out. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah? I've never heard that before. Clayton Kershaw? Matthew Stafford? Or high school teammates? What? Like high school football together? What? And baseball? No. No one's ever mentioned that. <laughs> I well, everyone knew that, right? People. At, I feel like it was mentioned a million times during the World Series. You know, there's Matthew Stafford showing up at a at a playoff game for Clayton Kershaw. I feel like every Rams home game, every Rams game they mentioned. There's Oscar Robertson out of ten. Wait, Rex, you really didn't know? Are, are you joke? I'm, I'm not actually sure if Rex is joking or not. That's like saying, oh, here's Dehunta Murray. All right, speaking of, Michael with the Spurs. I feel like it's mentioned multiple times in every broadcast, football broadcast. Three out of 10, Dehunta Murray. But you watch baseball, Rex. And you watch this show, like well, I'm sure we've mentioned it a zillion times. Ooh, and a redemption. Ooh, and a Zion. Look at that. Pelican, see Birch. With the Zion rookie card in that mosaic pattern. I don't know, maybe, maybe that wasn't... I actually did see, like, I think like Fox Sports or something like that, or maybe it was someone else. Pro Football Talk on NBC or something like that? I feel like they posted something about that. And I thought it was common knowledge. You didn't know. Who else didn't know? I, I, I have, maybe I have too quick to shame Rex on this. Um, did anyone else not know, or did everyone else know that Matthew Stafford and, and Clayton Kershaw were high school uh, teammates? Football, I think. Probably baseball, too. R.J. Barrett um, for the Knicks. That'll go to Matt Arnold in the Tyler Hero NBA debut, Kevin in the Miami Heat. Yeah, I thought it was a great halftime show, too, Logan. Just well produced. There's John Morant. There's more R.J. Barrett. I think when this product first came out, R.J. Barrett was maybe a little disappointing to some people, but now he's playing some great, great basketball. Matt Arnold and the Knicks. John Morant, Nancy with the base. John Morant. Some parallels here. I mean, I don't know who's there. 
It's a redemption. Yeah, I thought all the performers looked like they were having a good time. I mean, they're they're basically uh, your kids' faces when you and your wife are singing along. Justin sing. I know they're like oldies now. <laughs> it's like someone made a point that that like this listening to that music in 2021, going back to the 90s, would be a lot like people in the 90s listening to like Beatles music. I mean, I think that time the. That, that time period is almost the same, like a few decades, 30 years or so. There's Blue Chip Zion Williamson, maybe not exactly, but close enough. Well, we got a Jonas Valanciunas for the Memphis Grizzlies. That's gonna go to Nancy, Memphis. Justin, were, you, were, were your kids, your kids were definitely embarrassed by you, you and your wife, right? Mom and Dad, come on! You guys are embarrassing me. They, they, they probably film you on TikTok, and was and and then they were just like, "Look at my lame parents." All right, redemption. I will definitely shame you for that, Rex. No, everybody at at my Super Bowl party felt that the Doctor Evil GM commercial was, was bringing back Doctor Evil was uh, unnecessary. I'm sure they got a nice payday, which is good for them. I have nothing against Mike Myers getting getting paid. Now, what do we got here? Rookie autographs mosaic. It's gonna be R R O. Oh, Romeo Langford. Now that that is expired, but. Panini usually does a pretty good job about honoring those expired redemptions. Um, he's a Celtic, right? Yeah, he's a, he's a Boston Celtic. That's gonna go to it's gonna go to Peter. There you go, Peter. All right, that's that, everybody. We got another one box break. We got a lot of one box breaks, so we can keep hunting for the top rookies in this in in the first off the line exclusive parallels in Mosaic basketball. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next basketball break. Bye bye.